Another day in the year and another unboxing for myself. Today let's look at GoPro accessories. Hello guys, my name is John Sparkman. I'm a photographer, a little bit of a videographer based in Birmingham in the UK. Uh, I have recently started acquiring a bit more video gear, uh, specifically GoPros. I've been loving the GoPro Hero 7 Black with its internal stabilization, but I really wanted to pimp it out a little bit, get a bit more out of it so I can become a vlogger and you know have a little portable camera. Although the Fujifilm cameras I use, uh, the one up here and the one over there, are absolutely amazing. Uh, they are not ones you can just take out of a bag and just press start record. There's so many variables, they are advanced cameras, so they do so many manual things and specialist things that sometimes you just want an easy to use one button and it's going uh, action camera. The downside to the GoPro 7 is this lack of audio inputs. Uh, I know it's supposed to be an action camera and an underwater camera and all this business, but seriously, you gotta pay money to get an adapter so you can use your microphones in it, which kind of sucks, but I bought them. I found a discount online. Uh, let's start with this top one. This is from GoPro Direct. So, receipt, box, the Pro 3.5 mil adapter. All this does is gives me the option to add um, an audio input to the GoPro 7. Of course, by doing that, it actually takes away the waterproofing of the camera itself because you need to basically remove the side door of the GoPro to fit this on. That is literally it. That is a USB-C in, little adapter inside, and it's got a USB-C on the bottom and then 3.5 mil. But let's see what else I got. So let's keep on going. This is the mount. So this is the Ling Huang microphone universal culture adapter. I think it's a mount universal. Be careful with knives, that almost went through my finger. <laughs> okay, a little bizarre piece of plastic, it's just solid plastic. So enough of me rambling, let's talk about modifying this little GoPro to get some audio inside, shall we? So what I've already done is taken off the side port of the camera. We need that exposed so that we can add this into the side of it. Um, you see lots of people online and what they've done, instead of having audio like this, they've you know taped them down, they have inverted it they've kind of stuck them down and damaged the cables and this little kind of um weird p shape or a b depending on when you're looking at p shape b shape thing uh, actually fits onto this little connector type here slides in from one side it just goes straight on and it stops it doesn't go any further and it means you can still use your original gopro case it's still got the original kind of hook system which is amazing I you know I do love things that complement the original not replace them so push in and lastly this is a bit tough there we go flex the cable out there we go so that fits in nicely there's a little bit of flex on that cable I feel there's gonna be a bit of stress kind of here for, for a bit I think we need a microphone so let me track down in here somewhere there we go as a video micro and that is the dead cat that just takes out the wind of uh if you're outside and this is an action cam so i'd expect you probably would be outside at this point and there we go that is one small kick-ass little uh setup there the microphone is completely clear if it was down here there'd be a problem so it's nice and clear so now we have a portable professional audio sounding stabilized action cam with one button operation let's take it out on the hills of birmingham i'm gonna wrap it warm because it's really cold out there Let's see what it can do. So in typical English fashion, it's absolutely tucking it down in that really pathetic kind of misty rain that just messes your hair up and just gets rid of the view here and there. So I am on the hills of, some muddy, I'm on the hills of Birmingham in a place called Licky Hills and just testing out kind of what the windshield is like, what the audio is like on here. I've got it on the, I think it's standard plus. Uh, it's for non-powered microphones. It gives a 20 decibel boost. So it kind of takes what is coming out of that little uh, video micro by road with the wind sock on it. It's particularly windy now. Uh, I boost it by 20 decibels. I've left all of the settings kind of of the camera as is. I can't really be bothered to change them. And I think the idea of a vlogging camera is you shouldn't have to change them. I must just quickly say that you do get really weird looks still when vlogging. I mean, it's 2020. Um, YouTube's been around for a while now. 
and uh, these small action cameras are really good just to walk around with. This thing's so incredibly light, it can fit in a small bag, it can be taken apart into three bits, the camera, the tripod and the microphone. Pop this up. So I put it on um, kind of the flat colouring so it's, it's, it's a bit easier to grade afterwards. I've put it on 800 max ISO, I've put it on, ooh, let's go, image stabilisation 2.7k, 50 fps. Just going to pull the microphone port out the side of the GoPro and just see what the inbuilt audio is like compared to this plus 20 on the video micro. So this is the built-in audio, so it's, it's not bad, you don't have to buy any additional accessories. Uh, but I am on a very windy hill, and as you can probably tell, I'm on top of a valley, and you would, you would expect a little bit of audio to come out of this, but maybe it's a bit too windy to kind of, to get everything that's going on. You get all that background noise, oh that's windy, Ooh, it's cold as well. Might go back to the car, oh yeah let's go back to the car. That really rubbish kind of rain that just gets everywhere. But what I can tell is that this kind of diminutive little setup with the little furry top bit and the stand at the bottom, it's just so handy for practically everything. I kind of feel more at ease talking to this rectangular little uh, GoPro here than I do talking to my big camera. Uh, I kind of get starstruck when I'm in a studio environment and I've got the big light and then I've got my uh, microphones hooked up and I've got this uh, 4K monster thing recording me just around the corner and you know multiple different cameras. This is actually just resting where I put my phone when I'm doing uh, when I'm driving and uh, yeah it's, it's pretty nice. So hopefully the audio has been pretty decent on this. The battery life has survived. One thing I've noticed about this uh, little audio adapter that sits on top, there's a tiny little cutout where you can actually put your finger in because you've actually, remember you've still got to press the uh, the start or start record button at the top. Um, so that's, that's handy, they've actually thought this through. Still not a fan of the length of the cable on this Pro adapter. It kind of has an awkward jutty out angle. Um, and I'm sure if I looked online there'd be some kind of waterproof or alternate door I could put on the side of the GoPro uh, just so I could have a USB-C coming out the side of it and then the rest would be nice and sealed. Uh, but for today, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you stick around, like, subscribe, hit the bell button, all that goodness. Do you have the GoPro Hero 7 Black or do you have one of the other ones? Uh, next up in the future we'll compare this against a handheld gimbal, my Fairytech AK2000s. But for now, Catch you later. Bye.